Hey guys, what's going on? Max FTE here, and today I'm back with another Pokemon Go video. Obviously, this is a different video. I've got my face cap face cam on, uh, but we're just basically we're gonna be going over the new Verdant Wonders event. Is the rude gonna be worth it? Is it something that you should be worried about getting? Um, is it good? Yeah, let's jump into it. So the Verdant Wonders update, March 21st, 2024 at 10am local time to March 25th, 2024 at 8pm local time. So that's going to be 4 days and 10 hours. It's it's not the longest event, but it's not the shortest event either. Um, for $7.99 US dollars, or the equivalent in your sort of local currency, you'll be able to pick up a research story uh, which features Zarud. Now... I can't actually remember, we've only had Zarud once before, I mean, I mean, looking at the ticket, you, the prime focus is going to be Zarud, that's realistically why you're getting the ticket, and I can't actually remember the last time we had Zarud if it was paid or not, I'm not 100% sure, uh, either way, $8 for a Zarud is a little bit steep, I would say, um, so, sort of getting vibes of Mr. Galarian, Mr. Mime here. But either way, you're gonna have to. It's gonna be available the same times and dates as the event. So make sure to purchase that and log in and sort of start the research in that time frame. You'll also get access to. There'll be obviously it's rude. You'll get two premium battle passes, six silver pin ups, five rare candies, one incense, various dark and grass type Pokemon encounters, and more. Now, based on just looking at that, purely that. It's not really that worth it, I would say. $8 for two raid passes and a Zarud is a little bit steep. Uh, I would say you're getting your silver pin apps and rare candies, but nobody's buying the ticket for that, so it's maybe not quite worth it. If you haven't got Zarud, if you're wanting to complete the Pokedex, then sure, go for it, by all means. But, yeah. But we are also getting another bonus here. For the ticket holders, when you run an incense, this doesn't include daily incense, you will get uh, more spawns such as Pan Poor, Pan Sage, Pan Seer, Cutie Fly, Red Flower Flabebe, Blue Flower Flabebe, and Yellow Flower Flabebe. Obviously, those three are just going to be in their sort of natural regions. Obviously, Red Flower for the Europe and Africa, Blue Flower for Asia and that sort of region and yellow flower for the Americas and Greenland as well. Cottony wearing a flower crown, that's a new Pokemon that's actually coming out, is going to be shiny which is going to be nice, that's going to be probably quite a rare costume shiny, I don't imagine that would come back at any point for any reason so make sure to hunt those Cottony, get a shiny, Zerua as well which is going to be quite nice, so you'll also get white and orange Flabebe, Orange and white, they're available worldwide, but they're just more rare than the other ones, which is that's pretty neat. Uh, you'll also, also be able to gift the ticket, so if you're wanting to gift it for anybody, gift them a Zerua, feel free. Uh, obviously, Cottony with the Flower Crown is going to be debuting, which is quite nice. Again, make sure to hunt that, get that as a shiny. Um, wild Encounters, we are going to be actually getting red, blue and, well actually all forms of Flabebe are actually debuting as shiny, which is really nice because they are quite an annoying Pokemon um, and it's nice to finally actually get some use out of them, shiny check them. You'll also see Bulbasaur, Oddish, Tangela, Hoppip, Poochyena, Nuzleaf, Shroomish, Cottony, obviously the three Flabebes, and cutie fly in the wild in the wild. Some trainers might even encounter Pan Sage, Pan Seer, Pan Poor, Zerua, and White and Orange Flow Baby. I notice it doesn't actually say for Pan Seer, Poor, and Sage about them being in their specific regions, so hopefully they're gonna be available worldwide. That would be quite a nice bonus to this event. Get a nice regional shiny under your belt. Um, Field research, you'll also get Vulpix, Poliwag, Marill, Slugma, Cottony, Sage, Seer, and Poor. Obviously, it's going to be different tasks, I imagine. If it's anything like the recent events we've had, Sage, Seer, and Poor will probably be behind like a win three raids task or something, or hatch five eggs. Who knows? Still yet to see. Collection challenges, there's going to be a collection challenge for this event. 
um, you'll get yourself Stardust, XP, and Economy with the Flower Crown, and as well as Pokestop Showcases. Now we're going to speak about Zarud. Is it is it really going to be worth it if you don't have one? Is it is the ticket worth it? Um, Zarud itself is quite a cool looking Pokemon. I really like it. Obviously, it's not been available for about three and a half years now, so if there's probably quite a lot of people out there who don't actually have it, but again, paying $8 for it is a bit steep, so if you've got the money, why not? You'll obviously, you'll obviously get other bonuses with the ticket. Um, Zarud itself is going to be, in PvP, it's not really going to have that much play. It's quite a, it's a very spicy Master League Pokemon. It's... I mean, it's a bit of a core breaker to some teams, but like I say, extreme spice pick, so maybe not too worth it for PvP. In terms of raids though, it is actually quite a good grass type attacker. I don't know the exact numbers on what position it's in. Uh, there are going to be better choices, however, it is a good grass type attacker, so worth it in that sense. In terms of dark type raid, type, raid attackers, there are going to be better options, so I wouldn't get too stressed out if you don't get a good... Uh, good IV Zarud and so but yeah thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like if you didn't enjoy make sure to leave a dislike and let me know why in the comments below if you've got any other video suggestions let me know and I will see you guys in the next video see ya peace